That's no technical detail. No technical glitches this time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm back for another stream. Um, I was, I was thinking of maybe delaying it a little bit better, but honestly, this time kind of works a little bit better for me, so. Yeah. So it is. But today, I think, is going to be fairly chill. Um, I'm thinking of working on that smelter, just adding that little patch I talked about last time. Uh, poking away at the lava farm, and maybe if we got some time, just testing out some ideas for how to mine sand, because we're going to need a ton of it. And I think there's some value in testing, you know, uh, various ways to actually mine them with an LA, so. No further ado. The grind. And show off my AFKing here. I'm definitely just AFKing a ton to build up resources and also test out the server as well, too. And you can see from these uh, torches that were turned off, some things are essentially just so full that there's no space to actually carry any more items within there. There is one notable exception, is these ones over here. And you can see we've actually got four solid double chests. Of redstone dust. A little bit extra coming in just from other things. And over here we've got glowstone, Amdelio, gunpowder, we could still use a little bit more of. Oh, take a look at how full that is. Literally, if I just hang out for another couple of minutes, it'd probably fill up. That was it. Alright, with that, I think we're ready to get off. Get out of here. Can I whack these guys? Yeah, you know what? A little bit of extra gold would be good. Alright. I don't go. Be down there. Up to ten. Some of the stuff I really do not need, though. So, boards can get out of here. I can get out of here. You guys are cold, though, right here. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, I forgot to be cold in the sword there. This is my own, you know, used my. Oh, yeah. Maybe work on this as well, too. Although I'm not really planning to for this stream. Maybe sometime later I'll work on the grind. I got super lucky, though, with uh, the shovel, though. Uh, I'm, again, sort of relying on Grolber for a lot of their early stuff, because they do have a bunch of villagers. Um, they are missing some of the high-level stuff. Uh, for instance, I think the best I could find within their villagers was efficient one. Uh, so I wound up doing is just buying a couple extra shovels. Uh, the idea here is if you get three shovels, then you can have one main one, which is the one you sort of, you're, you're going to sort of use. And then two extra ones you can actually use to get additional enchants. And if you've got a ton of levels, and uh, you're you're sort of using an enchantment thing and all that, and, you know, well, I've got that gold farm too, so it's very easy for me to get levels quick. I go in, I, you know, do my enchants, and essentially you, you put, uh, you know, Put one of the, the two spare shovels or whatever in there, enchant it, see if it's anything good. If it's not, get rid of it. If it is kind of good, then start working on the other one. And then you, if, if what you've got is sort of close, so for instance, you've got efficiency four on one, you can actually work to get efficiency four on the other, merge them, and then you've got efficiency five, for instance. And then eventually sort of merge it all back in. Now you can kind of get away with a second one on there, but you have to be a little bit luckier. Uh, just throwing a little bit of extra effort into there to to make things, to give yourself a little bit more flexible, I find is definitely worth it. Well, that. Let us head back. After all, we've got a few little things to do. Right of mine. Get working on that at some point. Mind you, for the uh, gold farm, I actually wound up making a custom shovel. Almost optimal. Uh, it's actually got like knockback two on it, so it's not quite optimal, but it's pretty dang close. So, sweeping edge, uh, smite, maximal levels on there. Obviously, just cuts through those piglins like butter. So. 
Unbending, Unbreaking 3. All the usual deals. It had a bit of a freeze there. track that down. I don't know why my encoding seems to work so terribly on this thing. I'm just using a GPU encoding for all that. And you, If you're watching, you've probably noticed there's almost like a heartbeat to it. Starts off pretty terrible, gets rapidly good from there. On top of that, my system does tend to sort of do these random freezes from time to time, and I haven't really figured out why. Uh, it's decently fast, although not perfectly so. My guess is basically just, uh, it's some hard drive access in the background that's going off. Causing it to flinch. But I'm not 100%, I'll fully admit that, so. Something to investigate in every day. Lost those mushrooms. We're almost back. Got the gold farm looming in the distance there. Always get a kick out of that. While we're here, take you. Pretty good gold. Gonna spawn and see if I can file this one away. I've done this often enough to be confident in my my jumps. It's, they, I can almost do them blind to some extent. A little bit of room for gold there, but not enough to actually build a gold nugget. So you know what? Stash these for the people to enjoy. Gold nuggets and all that. So you can actually use that to make a bunch of golden carrots, which is pretty cool. To actually just do that. Carrots in here. Tell you what, uh, donate some carrots from Grolber's area down over here. Hi, over there. You should be more over here. A little bit. I'm pretty much stocked up on these for the most part, so it's not huge. No. Offload in here. Yeah, you know what? Donations. Oh. I heard that. Bye. Right, so we we're going to do, go over and work on that patch. Go and do that. Have to switch off shaders at some point. Yeah, sand, sand is definitely a priority since I've depleted almost all the TNT in there and all the TNT is gone in there by definition. Well, the whole point of putting in spawn chunks was just to fire and forget with it. So obviously, it's not firing, it has been forgotten. A little later. Also, I should put those back in the. Hey, what? Move into my inventory just to put them a little bit closer. Although I am a little bit embarrassed. It was only, I think, just like a couple of a couple of minutes before stream, I realized, wait a minute. I made all these furnaces, and hoppers and all that, and I really could have used them right over here. I need to use them all. Now I've got 16 spare furnaces that I got no use for and a ton of extra hoppers. Right now they're really just sort of contributing to lag, so the hoppers that is. Get them.
Hey, nice. I got some free levels out of it, too. Very sweet. Right. And we might have to use some of the stuff later. I'm just going to leave the chest here, I think. It's... I could move some of it over into this giant sort of storage area right over here, but I bother for the moment. All right, shoot it off. I forgot about that too. Should add an on-off switch to this thing. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, that would work. Hang on. If I can improv an on-off switch on the key. Because, I mean, it's not contributing a lot of lag, but that's still a hopper minecart, you know? How are you on? See, that clock is going. But it's not actually ticking through. We have to live a little bit with a clock, but because it's way down there, it's not actually contributing anything. Oh, right. Put some, uh, how many little tweaks to do? Put some, uh, composters on top of here, just to make sure they're not sucking in anything that they're not necessarily doing. Everything else, I think, has, yeah, probably got something on top of it, so I don't have to worry about it. But it's really just these two that need poster treatment. There's a sign up there, too. Or Bert Thompson. Oh, actually, no. I, back at spawn, I've got a bunch of signs I could use. In fact, since I've got those bottles on me, might as well get rid of them while I'm back over there. All go into plan. Even if you can... See, I'm not exactly patching the smelter now. It's an unofficial patch. We're, we're doing it live, you know. Here we'll be fine for now. Bunch of birch there, but I think I've got some sign signs. Oop, no signs. All right. Well, bit of a surprise to me. Guess we're just gonna have to make some. A little bit of birch here. Hey, what? This back end. Birch planks. Could be enough for a sign. I do love my birch. It's. If you don't have any sort of dyes to actually dye what's on the sign, it can give you sort of the best contrast for that, so. Alright, so you go back. Models back. Right. Up you over there and get Terran. Yeah, I definitely gotta work on my enchanting, although I've got a spare sword, so I can even do a little bit of work on stream, I guess. Tempting. Unfortunately, the while enchanting can be quite powerful if you've got the levels and everything for it, A, I don't quite have the levels. I'm at 20 when I should be at 30. But also B, you're never going to get mending. So there's some enchanted items that are just going to be out of your reach. You do need to supplement what you got with something else. Go on, off. Poster, I think we need a bunch of slabs. We got a bunch of slabs back over here. And like, as much as I like sort of manufacturing over there, it's just... Got the slabs, and they're just sort of rotting away in a chest. Might as well take full advantage of them, you know? Do exactly that. Ooh. 
We'll drop off the signs while we're at it too. Again. Some gold I left for everybody from the uh gold farm that I've got. Tell you what, these sounds can go in there. Tons of jungle slabs. Composters. Perfect one. Yeah, look, and I just completely got rid of all those, so. Oh, foe. Back over there. Oh, look at that. Being efficient, tidying things up, it's great. Past everything. Don't do anything to tidy those up, sadly. There we go. Fine. Yeah, that's my real look up there. I'll vote for that. But this. This now has to move back one. So. Placement. Turn you off. Course. I gotta move it back one. That's the button. That's where you gotta get moved back to, huh? Well, I do have to ignore that for a moment. Alright, let's start from the top and work our way down. I need a shovel for much of anything. Rail, aren't I? Crash minder chest, shoot. There or someplace. Oh no, there's. Should be fine now. <laughs> Ow. I'll need just a bit of rails, please. Archer book. Archer. Sleep away the, the nasty night. I'm going to need a bit more smooth stuff. Like that. Yeah, we'll work it out. It's fine, it's fine. Work it out on the fly. Perfect, okay.
dust. please. Backwards swan dive off of there. excuse to pick this up. Over here, so... Yep. Perfect. Ah, let me put my food on the piston. Hopper now. Ah, of course. Yeah, I can get to that from the bottom. We even really need this. There you are. Let's test this out. Oh, nice. I spared myself a hopper. So I can just leave you blank and then go from there. I should have been able to guess that from this side over here. I think with that, finished. I would do a test of some sort though, just to make sure. All right. Oh, my buckets. Y'all are in there. Okay. Re enable that. What do I really want to? I really like having that spare stone though, so I think I'll actually just convert some cobble over. Actually, why well, not? Be 13th. So. Down and collect me buckets. There we go. We need a full 16. Excellent. So, with that, no, oh, I don't even have room for all that. Okay.
five more, huh? for one more after all. Done got you wrong. Oh yeah, I remember this running running into this problem before. Or what I did to fix it though. Simple as going. Hmm. Redstone torch there. Ah, oh, you're not full. Our back, maybe? Hmm. It was a little bit premature with this one. Bitch, I know what's happening. Turn off it's out of placement again. The hopper up there was actually acting as a block, preventing it from going all the way up. If I was going to replicate that, I would actually have to do, like, I would have to move it down one. So, that's the issue. Okay. And so alas. That is a very vital bucket. Go. Defying jumps. Oop. Okay. There we go, yeah. It was the hitbox after all. Alright, so I'm almost done. Uh, I need to waterlog that and throw a slab in there, though. Good miss labs go. Good. And of course I got a water bucket on me, so what do I care? All up nicely. Good, good, good. Bunch of nice stone coming in there. In there. Hmm. Alright, so. And replenished. Lovely.
my time. I'm gonna take it one last trip. You know, let's do one last trip for this thing. I want to make really sure, since I do have a nice habit of saying, ah, oh, done, and then just leaving it there. So, turn the buckets. Buckets. Of course. Of course, of course. I'm so silly. Not just a matter of moving this back, I'm just gonna move the track back. You have to be flat. Go up one. I need another powered rail too. Entirely doable. See, I got a couple of spares here just in case. Um, there we go. There you go. Let's come back up, though. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Any buckets in here? No. I'm gonna need a lot more buckets. Fix here. Oh, we take advantage? It was 96 buckets overall, which whew, I don't even have enough room in here for this. This is 58, yeah, no. So I need actually a second double chest on top of here to make sure I've got enough storage capacity for it all. Oy, oy, oy. Tuned my iron supplies? Or why not? Thanks to the Grover, I've got a ton, so. Go. Would have been nice if I'd actually been able to. Get rid of all the access here. Two, three, five more, huh? Two, five. Perfect. Oh, 
11 more to film. Two, three, four, five more again, huh? You can see the advantage of having so many more cauldrons here. I'm not waiting a lot of time to actually go and get everything that I need, so. This design isn't good enough such that it basically replenishes in the time it takes to one uh, it takes one to get out but it works well enough I think for most purposes so we're down to three. that's almost done one two. I mean, um, you know, why not fill it up slowly over time, you know? Don't have to do it all right now. Nothing coming through, so I'm gonna hit the on off switch. Okay. Alright, with that smelter patch, done. I'll wait a little bit for you. Okay. Oh wait, I should probably get rid of my gold rail too. Where is the cleanup afterwards after all? So I think all the cauldrons are in place. The bunch of reds, not purples, which would indicate things are gone. I think you're looking good. We throw some sort of band in there. Alright, well. Hmm. Should I focus on aesthetics versus getting it to work? Honestly, I'd say let's let's focus mostly on getting it to work first. Then I can worry about the aesthetics afterwards. This is also a bunch of pistons that I need too. Ah, it's gotta be four in total. Alright, a little bit of redstone and all that to handle this. What else do I have for redstone needs here? Uh, looks like it's just a couple of slabs. Here around. Oh yeah, a little bit of that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need a bunch of redstone and a bunch of blocks to put on. Stuff presumably that is lava proof though. Although once it's down here, it doesn't really matter so much. You know, lava's uh, fire spread doesn't just spread downwards, only up. Bunch of redstone. Bunch of stone stone. Acid. Let's pull out some of the nice smooths down here. Wrangle my way around a little bit. Next layer down. Yep. please. Looking good. Oh, 
don't think I need all that stone in my inventory. Gonna be a bit tricky to build up. Redstone torch, please. Thanks, bro. Is this on top? Oh. Ah, nice. That's the case then. Boop. There. Actually, where's my scaffolding? A little bit of extra height here, please. comparators as well too. So that's six of these in total. Ooh. Bunch of stone. Oh, yes, but probably not enough. Well, no, it might be enough to get them all. Let's find out. Oh, shoot. We need to sleep. Thank you. Thank you. Comparator, did I? I meant for Peter. <laughs> Go do the Landra dangerous lava jump. Thanks. So. Go redstone dust right now. Slabs. A lot of slabs here. I can't build enough. Let's exit. I'm a little bit annoyed with having to make that. So, another crafting bench time. Actually, go a bit further than that. Have you with the subconscious? Yeah, pop it inside here, and I should be good to go. Interesting. I forgot about these. Oh, 
That's where that's coming from. Of course. Uh, a lot of little tweaks to do here. Go back to where were we? All right. do that right away. Do that. Pop you. Pop. Back over here and just slab away. That got me a little speed slab. I'll shoot your sticky piston. Delay. Right, you're the sticky piston. Oh yes. First. Okay. I had to do that in order to actually power that thing, so. Alright, I've got a little bit of that, a little bit of that, so let's a little bit of wood. I thought I should be able to make a piston. Kind of dude. I do need a slime ball, sadly, so running back over to on. The other one's actually sticky. How many of these? Two sticky pistons, four normal pistons. Okay, so six in total anyway. I need one more. In wood. I said six, didn't I? I accidentally put your tongue. That one that I want, alright. 
Sticky Pistons. Four. Yeah, so that's six in total, so I need one more. Alright. Torches, gotcha. Three redstone comparators. Nine redstone repeaters, huh. Okay. Alright, so if I need nine repeaters, but I've got three in inventory, that means six. Six times two is twelve. Uh, nowhere near enough. Alright. I'll be back. Goes well on my way. Head down to spawn and grab me some of them. Alright. Grab me some of them slime balls, yes. Ah. Freezes. I would like to move. Flying is not enabled on this. I wasn't flying. You saw me. No flying whatsoever. Sugar cane first. Yeah. Cute, right? Two sticky pistons, yes. Oh, uh, thanks, but okay. I need. I'm gonna have to take a nap shortly, though. I guess I don't have to, but since I am kind of out in the wild here in an area where it isn't completely controlled, I think it makes sense to sort of snooze and get rid of any baddies that might be around. Look at the dark jungle over there. Alright, so. Let's go back on the other side here, just so I can put the piston in properly. Placing your head? Should be an observer down there, huh? Heard him before. Alright, let's lay out a bunch of these. 
Right, I was gonna create myself six more. Gone. Almost for up here. Again, I do need to place these pistons on so uh, temporarily. Where is it? Ah, yeah, let's use you. Gotta be solid, but I think I can get away with just using a half slab or top slab for you. I'll say I think for the rest too. Let's try it. Now, if this is going up or down, I'd be a lot more concerned than I am. All it's doing is going along here. on the side too. Oblige that. Actually, I could have gotten away with slabs for some of this. Oh, let's make more slabs, actually. gonna be solid because you're going down. You don't. You don't. Yep. And now I'm all out.
Oh, of course. No chance now on that side, so I can't just sort of zip across. Dash some of these in here. A little bit more room. A bit better. Two down there. It does have a lot of smooth stuff. Keep pistons down below, right? Go into the end of chest. There we go. I really chew through the redstone, do I not? I know. I'm... Nobody's ever going to see this. Why do I care? Because I care. Looking pretty good. You're not wired up over here, though. Gonna be solid, but you don't have to be. Sharp to purple. Top slab. Um, top slab. Top slab. So it gets. If you take a look at that, that's literally right on the surface of the water, so. For this, at least, I should be able to get away with just Laying it out, I don't have to worry about necessarily cleaning away any of the water logs. Super lucky when it came to laying some of this stuff up. Oh. I don't need a full. Secondary. Oh, night time. That means. Why is it being so finicky with that?
The nice thing about this too is it's low enough I can fit my head underneath it. Get the blade set up properly for all that. Running low on labs. We got some of these already connected in. Two of them, three of them actually, all connected up. Number four coming in over here. Redstone. Oh, shoot. That I connected this one. In fact, I did not. But I am in need of more slabs. Just between you. Redstone wire, east. Oh, that's what dips. Times this is. Okay. All connected up. Hmm. Here's where some of those to play. Look at that. That was a minute hopper clock. That's kind of weird. The oh, I know why. There's got to be a button over here to actually air this out. So proper. Bunch of these. Tell you what, I need these uh, comparators, dropper and hopper and all that, so let's hop to it. This stuff I know is just sitting out over here. Furnaces, I don't need you. I need one dropper, please. Marker. I can stash back in here. 
Then so I could stash back in here. That I could stash back in here. That I could stash back in here. Back up. Good. Alright, so it was three again, right? Yep, three redstone comparators. First. Where all me quartz is. Perfect, okay. Get back to finishing all the quartz. Like there, I've got a crafting bench here. Okay, three of those they each require three, so nine torches. Oop. Three comparators. Go into you. Set down. I'm gonna temporarily probably put you. I can say you gotta go into there. You gotta go into there. There. That's all of them, okay. Thought you up. Oh, I bet you if I look down here. Something then. I guess in the short term. This is gone. Take a look at that. Oop, there we go. More in here, I know. Where is that sticky? 
Um. on the other side to get you in. Finally, walk right here. Right, and that sort of acts as a pulse limiter, if I recall correctly. Time, you know what that means. Pat right off the bed again. There, yeah, you're part of the stairs. I don't worry about you. Oh, right, I needed an observer. How about that? Right, what do I need for an observer? Two redstone, quartz, and a bunch of that. All right. Easy peasy. Lock huh? Face up. Yeah, nice. Alright, if I put some sort of stone plate on there. this line. Hmm. Getting, I need um, a couple of items in there. One in here, maybe? Maybe, just maybe. Put a up run there. Something's gone wrong here. Good. Good. You up? It's an wall torch. That's one problem, unfortunately, is I didn't write down the number of items to put in each. You know. A little clueless as to how much.
Also, hang on, what the heck are you powering? That fed in. Out. You're back in there. Got one item. Alright, so let's try igniting this. That shouldn't do nothing. I do it again. Now it should activate. Activated. Also, this you can see I've now got a little bit too much, I think, in one corner here, so. Where are my areas here? Go double check all the redstone too. New. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, you are supposed to be an airport. All right. Buckets are full. You know what that means. Hot buckets are full. I make a new one. Empty that. That's reset. Your reset. Set. Not. No. Hold and go. That should have reset it all. It was before testing. Come on. Lightmatic menu, schematic placements, figure, schematic verifier. Start. A whole lot of comparisons here, but that's fine. Uh, stone sugar canes. For stairs, that's fine. I'm just interested in the redstone, honestly. Oh, you're a bit of a problem. Expected observer found smooth. Why I did that? Yeah. If you put an observer up there, it basically does the exact same pulse as that one. So I don't have to worry about the pulse being too long or short. It just works. That's why I did that. Yeah, hey, okay. I don't even have that redstone left. Okay. Alright, let's grab myself some redstone. Server, perfect. Good enough to put that back. And you can see just how much redstone I've used. A lot. Oh, girl, let's go back here.
I'm gonna go down one more. Add it a second time. Popped up again. Alright. And you know what that means. Time to make another bucket. Almost night time, too. Yes, I can sleep already. Sweet. I wait for it to get back. You guys are all there. Come back to the verifier, sadly. Yep. Of course, I was going back here because I have a little bit of iron. Enough for three buckets, so need one. back in there. I'm pretty dang sure you gotta be over here. Yep, there we go. Perfect, okay. There's some of this back, so I'm pretty sure I'm good without. You guys can sit over there. Throw it over there. Move some of this back. Tidy that up a little bit. All right, let's test the red. Let's trace the redstone wall. You're all good. Good ish. Yeah. Just complaining about planks. So I'm gonna put you there. Planks, planks. Ah, of course, missing redstone dust. You power there. Low, if anything. Gotta be solid bar. You gotta go there. Honestly, I think that was about it.
Y... And of course, if that's not retracting properly, it's going to prevent everything from going back. So the fact that this wasn't connected would have broken the machinery. Did everything correctly. Okay. Tracing. Everything on the ground floor looks fine. Here. Air, but you're not going to interfere. Air, but you're not going to interfere. I trace down over here, so that's fine. why that thing asking for a solid block there. I don't think there's a reason for it, honestly. Less. A redstone dust on top. Oh no, that's why. I was just looking for some light. Should I indulge it? No, I think I'm good for now. I'll come along and finish up the interior later on. As far as I can tell, everything should work, so. Faster out. Look at that. I can go along, grab another bucket, and go. So, okay, let's get rid of you. I have to two more buckets, please. Now, if I hit this... Look at that. Everything's working peachy. Woo! Alright, well now I gotta figure out what the exterior is gonna look like. I'll read my materials a little bit. I got like all this nice smooth stone, but that doesn't actually turn into uh, staircases or anything like that. I'm gonna need that to texture the underside here. Alright, what else have I got? All oh, quite awesome. I, it's, sorry, it's, let's figure out what else I've got for material I can throw through here. There's normal stone, which I can, can transform into all sorts of ordinary things. You know, this uses a lot of stone. This uses a lot of stone. Stone motif for this. I'd like something a little bit different for that. Unfortunately, it can't be flammable. Hmm. Okay. Let's raid the main chest and see if there's anything interesting there. Or, I mean, I could just not do it now. No, the farm is functional. As long as you don't work with it later. And that way, the last half hour of the stream, I can actually test out some hand bucket strategies. Rider G's. Handstone stairs, maybe? Slate, I think, would be a good one. Yeah. 
a row of deep slate around there. Hang on. Or deep slate. Oh, yeah, indeed. There we go. As well, that's going to be a terrible choice. Don't want to convert any of that because it's very inefficient for actually getting white blocks. Go through here, see what else we got. Yeah, and I'm slowly convincing myself, no, 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 I really want to work on this. All right, and I got nether bricks too. Yeah, actually, why not just take advantage of the nether bricks I got, you know? Okay, a bunch of nether bricks over there. Bunch of cobbled deep slate. The question is now, which one looks better? All that. That works. Nothing. Time to go in there. There we go. Alright, so cobble deep slate can turn look into all the stuff it can turn into. Cobble deep slate stick. A little bit nicer. Dark. What do you think? Dark band, lighter band, and then transitioning to like lighter stone underneath? Would work. Look at how dark that is. Make me one of these. A little bit too dark. One of these. After all. Then. That. Use that as like a gradient down here. Alright, um, sorry. Rick. You. That was the top of the parapet, wasn't it? Alright, well then after here then, it's just all solid stone. Okay. That works. Weird contrast, though. Tell you what, let's try something slightly different. Pop you out. Pop you out. Crap. Not mean to do that. There you go. Okay. Alright, so. Deep slate brick. Stone brick. Underneath. Yeah, I think that works a lot better. All right, another brick. You're going back in here. But I've got smooth basalt. I forgot about that. What I do with this. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Um, thank you. It looks nice, but I okay. A lot of cobble deep slate. All stone. Try. It's at least thirty two. Like that.
Piper. I can still invent something, I think, with stone bricks and slabs up here, just to sort of help cover things. Move something along like this, I guess. That would work. Then fill in something in here. Yeah, and let's throw up here. some of you well that still has to be exposed so oh well that's all right How I did it on the other side. Did I go all the way over? No, I did not. Okay, good. Two more blocks to dispose of. Okay, I think that's a good enough start. Obviously, we've got a little bit more work to do with the internals, but the mechanism works, and that's really all that matters at this point. Use. Now I've got a rough idea of what I want within here. Really can't sneak in any closer than that. So, sadly, I'm going to have to layer this in just as a note to myself that, yeah, this is exactly what I'm doing over here. Not necessarily up top. 
much as I like the smooth stone, I think it's best downstairs. We could use some sort of textured brick thing for the top. That'll work a bit better. In fact, I can even add like a bunch of slabs across here too. That would be perfect. All right, well, I'm getting distracted. Stash you back. And let's stash you back. Stash you back. Down the corner. Good. All right. Um. Oh, right. Oh. All right. Change a bunch of you back into blocks. Thank you. That's okay. Now I'm gonna figure out the rest of the decorations along here, but that can wait for another stream. Then I suppose it's maybe time to try a little bit of sand farming then. I'm not gonna have a lot of time to experiment, but now I am just curious to try and work out the best, because we need a ton of sand. Oh, the TNT duping is not enabled. Oop, okay. Good, I can pop you in there. Oh, yeah, I got rid of some of my cobble. Oh, no, I got cobble deep site right there. Not that. Oh, right. You. Now it means, it means that I got a stone cutter I got to place somehow. Ocean of water breeding. Wood is always super useful. In fact, let's switch those out. I got a nice restock thing. Don't want to sacrifice that. I need a lot more of that. I need these ones. Detector rails I could probably sacrifice, though. I'll see you in there. Well... Oh. Do have any dirt? You're actually an ideal spot for dirt. Grab ourselves on that. And indeed, head to the surface and get ready for sand. Okay, I'm gonna want sandy. You can just sit in my inventory. Everything else I think is pretty fine. Still gonna work on getting more uh, charcoal for myself though. Yeah, no, we'll save the enchanting for another time. That's exactly what I want. Alright, so let's head to the triple farm. Farm, here we go. Let's make things just a little bit prettier, you know. Uh, I keep wondering why my XP disappears when I'm on the horse, but I forgot that's the jump gauge that replaces it. Can't see your XP if you're riding the horse, sadly. two main ways I can think of for mining. I don't think I've actually explained them on stream. But the idea is basically, um, you can either use an LA, uh, use a bunch of LAs, and just scoop around like this with a shovel, and have them all bring it up to you. I think it's a pretty reasonable approach. 
Now, its main problem, of course, is it just chews up the durability on whatever shovel you've got in hand, so. Not so efficient with that. Um, I know Etho has said that, uh, you know, the only good way essentially to mine mine for sand is via... Oh, hi guys. Yeah, a little bit of spare. Use that to help drive them. I know. Now I've got a lot of TNT. Uh, sorry, a lot of gunpowder here, so. Take a look at all of that. Alright, yeah, Alright, close to somewhere in here. Oh, there we go. Alright, this is gonna be chaos. Sadly, I'm gonna have to let them go. There's way too many on this one lead right here. I wanna actually sort of split them off into multiple little leads. So there's maybe only about four per thing. I think that'll work. Ready? Chaos! Oh, the leads go. Come on. Perfect. All right, you. Okay. You. Okay. You and you. And you. One more. Let's go with five. There. That's four of them tied up there. You come with me. With me. Interesting. Okay. You guys are all fully loaded. Now I need one more post. Uh, where did I put in here? Okay, good. Here. Hello, guys. Nice, but there's still one more that doesn't have a lead. Did I get that? Did I miss that lead? Is there a portal? No. Alright. I think I should have some spares in here. Yes, good. You. Wait, you. You. Get back here, you. Good. Thank you. Let's see. We're great like that. Okay, so. I'm going to put most of these leads back in here. I'm going to take... Apple spare with me just because it's quite easy to you know, pop them off the block and leave them behind. I'm going to take some fences with me too. Ditch the sand. Ah. 100% full. Yep, you can actually tell by the filters there. Um. Ah, you're not full yet. Dash you in there then. Okay. Got you two. Right, I'm gonna need a bed. Getting that. The wood. I got tons of string. Make me a bunch of beds. There you went, you old. Yeah, I did. Oh well. Um, oh, second speed. Oh, let's do that. There we go. A little OCD, but whatever. Grab it. 
expected. And crafting bench. No, good enough. We're just doing a quick test here anyway, so. Alright. Everybody is all bound up. Good, good, good. Too much time, but. Do I don't need that many? Oh, I do not. Five? Are we done? Alright. Alright. Fly with me, little ones. I'm going to try and keep up fairly high. That way they're less likely to detach. You can also see that I'm walking, too. And it's, yeah, the whole idea is to de you know, decrease the odds of them detaching on me. Thank you. Blast her way through here. Say, look. Love getting hung up on every little thing. It's one reason why I suggested jumping. Become loose a bit. There we go. Head out to this area. Yeah, there goes one of them already. Why we carry spares? I want to set you all down here. Two, three, four. Oh, come here. Come here. Come on. Up, 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 up. Up, up. I'm going to go back and search for this lead myself. Alright. Camp out. Hmm. I don't want to sleep with them on me, so. Full efficiency five, so. I don't know. I gotta sit and wait. Alright, test one. Five elytra. Just shovel. There. All right, and go. See. I took away your block. No, no, no. You do have that. Thank you. That's all five of them. All right, you fools. Let's shave. Love this little job, don't they?
listen to those little suckers. They're so helpful. Oh wow, and I'm almost all full too. Get rid of a little bit of room there. Now one of them is suffocating in a wall. Fortunately, they're just terrible at path fighting. But they have a really quick rejuvenation thing, so as long as you're not too mean with them, you know, they're not gonna... You can even have... You know, commit a little bit of violence against them, and they'll be fine. Oh, shoot. Now I'm way too full. Alright, well, I can grow an infinite amount of cactus, so... Hey. Oh, um... I can mend an infinite amount of cobble. Alright. I would say that was pretty successful overall. Oh, shoot. Is there more they're trying to get to me? Cactus. No, oh, okay, they're pretty good. Alright. Take you little suckers back. I gotta feel my way through here. God, thank you. See, look at that one right there. Here. Come here. Yep. Good. Use this to encourage them to come near me. Perfect. Okay. Up here. Oh. Yeah, it's done. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay. Look, cuties. Come here. That's good. Still on five. On five. Uh, two of them's kind of stuck there. Yeah, good, good, good. Two. Bam. That. Reposition some of these around. Want one of you on here. That other one. Come here, please. There, now we got five each. So let's breed, I think, four more. And that should be enough for me. Alright. Probably also get rid of all the sand I got, too. Too, too wild with my right clicks. Mm 
Right. Now we've got one and a half stacks. Mm. One in a shade. Okay, well, let's consume one and a half stacks here and leave the rest in for glass. Why not? One and a half stacks. That worked perfectly. Okay. So, yeah, I don't have any shards on me, but... I can pull you out. Pop you over here. And... Oh. Not what I was going for. I was going for music and sounds. Since, you know, demonetization. On the side. Alright, let's clone you. On you. A little sound. Okay, so I've now got two more to do. Four. No, you've been done. You have not. But is in. Not everyone has sound though. Good job. I'll have one. All right. Um, it's all like me. All right. Successfully bred. You in there? You in there? There's something like that. Yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, uh, I should probably put a little bit of sand in here. Oh. All these things. There we go. Great. Yep. Let's head back through and drop these off. That was fairly pleasant. That was. Oh, shoot. Oh, fences. Go ahead, go back. Alright, well. You can just wait for a couple of seconds. Looking quite good. Where'd you go, Mr. Horsey? There we go. Alright, I think this is a good spot to end it. Oh, well, that's actually a terrible spot to end it, but this is a much better spot. So, yeah, uh, we've got the lava farm at least finished and functional, even if it isn't aesthetically pleasing. But we can work on that another time. Uh, I think that the, a decent way to approach mining is to have, uh, I think, five or so of those delays leashed to you and go with the sand. Seem to work a lot better than what I had before. And I think, again, efficiency 5 makes a huge difference there. Um, I am going to have to try a little bit of TNT mining, but I kind of want to, you know, throw all this TNT into the wood farm, and I guess maybe even the cobble farm a little bit too, just to stock things up. So, yeah, I think that'll be it for now. And with that, we'll be seeing you later on. Au revoir. <laughs>